So I hate when this happens that you repair one of uh, the uh, piece of equipment and it fails later on and but it seems that this is what's happening to this screen. It's starting off a bit and then when I go to the end of it it writes reverse. Uh, so there's something wrong with the uh, horizontal scanning. Oh my goodness. It's gotten terribly wrong. It was uh, better even yesterday. I don't know if you can see anything, but it writes backwards, which is not good. So it's nothing simple like a burn components or a misplaced connector, uh, but uh, fortunately, we have the schematics for the thing, and even better, component placement. Okay, sure enough, turn it off, back on, now it's much better. And here are my PLL signals that look almost like they should look. So, I'm getting more knowledgeable in uh, horizontal deflection circuitry. And now I understand that uh, this is where the ramp, that's where the ramp starts, when it's at the left. And also it doesn't look linear, at clean current it is. And this is what generates the return. Uh, so that's the flyback at the end of the line. And this is a video signal. And you can see here that it's not a line. There's a few characters here that are in the return signal, which is why I see this on the screen over here. Right there characters are starting too late and then there's a few of them that are caught in the return of the line I see that right here and actually you can if I delete a few characters you can see it's okay until here and if I put too many characters they go too far but um, there is a PLL and PLL is supposed to induce a delay which is here which is supposed to align this with the end of the line right here and it's not so it looks like it's the PLL sync that's not functioning so now I'm looking at the PLL uh, flip-flop where is that thing it's over here and there's a set, the reset, and the two outputs. And the set, the gate works, it gave me it gives me uh, an output and that's the uh, negative of it. But it's not enough to do anything to the flip-flop because the reset is always on during the set. So the output stays at zero all the time. So that might be fine, it should have lengthened the pulse, so the the, um, the pulse is not following the output uh, from the flip-flop. So maybe the PLL works and it's the control of the pulse that doesn't work, the control of the delay that doesn't work. So if I'm reading this correctly, the output is zero all the time because the delay is too short. There should be no voltage over this, this should go into its highest voltage and it should lessen, lengthen the pulse until eventually it gets after so it's not doing it so either the pulse can never get long enough from over here despite the high voltage or this is not controlling the voltage that would be my my guess well I just fixed it uh, all I did was uh, add a little capacitance here uh, in parallel to uh, the one that makes the pulse from the PLL here to make it longer so it can push the uh, the reset pulse out of the way and the PLL can work and it does it right here is now this guy happens after this reset after happens after the set and I have my small output here out of the PLL so I fixed it by a um, worried I just went around the problem something has changed here so there are only three components that determine the size of the delay 
the capacitor itself, which might be bad, the resistor, which happened to be an integrated one, so man, maybe that's this one, or the 555. I'd like to know which one of the three that is, uh, because if not, the failure is going to return pretty soon. So here's the capacitor in question, it's supposed to be 830. 834 picofarads and it checked out at 832.5 so rats it's not the cap it's something else that's giving out so I just went around the program the the problem by increasing its value and that's the resistor should be 39k and it's 42k which would make the pulse longer rather than shorter, so that's not it either. Uh, so I'm sort of afraid my timer, the 555, is going, uh, which means that uh, until I change it, my problem is going to return. Okay, I took that guy out of here, put back the original capacitor with no extra one, and a uh, new LM555 and sure enough it works so it was the uh, integrated circuit that started failing and it's not even written 555 on it, it's some kind of uh, 1826-0180, some kind of HP part, rebranded HP part but uh, now I'm pretty confident now I got the root cause and it won't come back. I got the degrading component out of the machine. And I readjusted the screen and it's just picture perfect now. As good as new. So now I can play Fat Cat. Here's a mouse, here's a cat. And uh, it's very advanced. You can turn the mouse. If you get confused and go in the other direction, the cat will go after you. Ah! All right, it works again. The force is back into balance. HP85 works as intended.